Hello and welcome to Open Everyone. I'm Rina Valentin, your host of Café con Leche, always inviting you to get social with us online, that is, tweet us and follow us on Instagram at BronxNet TV and or like us on Facebook at Open Bronx Net Television. And of course, don't forget while you're there, follow moi on Twitter, Instagram, FB, Snapchat, LinkedIn, Insta Stories at Rina Valentin. All right, so today we are kicking off today's episode with some breaking news. Woohoo! BronxNet has joined in a partnership with Manhattan Neighborhood Networks and beginning this upcoming Monday, June 18th, all three versions of Open, that's Open Monday, Wednesday and Friday, will be simulcasted in Manhattan. So beginning next week, Open Friday will be seen live at 10 a.m. through Manhattan Channels, MNN 5, Spectrum 1993, and Fios 37. So be sure to let your friends and families in Manhattan know, yeah, we're going to be open in Manhattan. So we are officially one week <laughs> from summer, I know it may not seem that way, but it, we are, and uh, many people are, well, you know, they're looking for a healthy weight loss suggestions with a variety of ways to eat healthier. So our first guest is a nutrition expert and uh, recently won an, uh, another award for best health and wellness book of the year by the Green Books Award in San Francisco for the second edition of her book, How to Be a healthy vegetarian and joining us to share some health consciousness we welcome author health and nutrition expert and chef nancy addison hello and welcome thank you congratulations <laughs> thank you so much every time it's you so come fun. back you're like winning another award for another book <laughs> and that is i'm honored well, you know, it's really interesting, though, to to just know, right, just through these awards that you're winning, that there's a consciousness opening up within our, our society, right? Because Absolutely. Because health is, um, it, it seems to be a trend, but uh, we, we've got to go back to the roots, and that's what you're providing in these, in these lovely uh, books that you've uh, published. And so, it's summer, and, you know, in the summer, we... Um, are going on vacation and of course you know sometimes we have those nice meals packed in and uh, kind of tend to cheat a little bit so what do you suggest that one would do to uh, kind of I guess cut the cravings in, in, down what it, what's really uh, important about summer and cravings things like that we tend to um, go for things that are easy on the on the run but one of the things that is so important to do is, and it's summer, so there's a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables. Get those as your snacks. And you can get uh, things that are environmentally sound that you can rewash, or you can get baggies, and you can put things like, <laughs> now this may sound like a crazy snack, but green beans are really great. You can just cut off the hard ends and put them in something. And those are great to snack on and they have a natural insulin effect on our body. And you can also cut up things like cucumber or bell pepper and then take some hummus with you. And that's high protein, that's got a lot of vegetables in it. And that is really what is gonna satisfy the body. And our bodies start getting fed on a deep cellular level and so it can really curb those cravings. Whereas if we eat foods that are processed or have different things in it like MSG or high fructose corn syrup, those, those may make us think that it tastes good, but it will also create cravings for more. And then the high fructose corn syrup can actually create a problem in your body where you cannot make insulin. So it actually can cause diabetes. So uh, different just you know viewpoints on looking for the healthier fruits and vegetables. You can also just get really good fruits. And I always recommend not doing fruit juices because that just um, has no fiber in it. So it just goes straight into your bloodstream and can really raise your blood sugar. So, you know, peel some oranges or some grapefruits or tangerines or something, put them in a baggie, set them in the refrigerator, and then you can grab them for snacks or for, for vacations and things like that. And those are hydrating as well. And the beauty of the summer is that you have more fruit options, right? I mean, <laughs> that's the one thing I really enjoy about the summer, like mangoes, uh, strawberries, blueberries. Uh, I mean, they're available, uh, cherries. <laughs> they're available throughout the year, but they're, they're in season uh, during the summer. And so you have more options. 
Right, and when they're in season, they're usually more local. And then if they're vine ripened or uh, tree ripened, they have sylvesterols in them, which are natural cancer-fighting, disease-fighting abilities that are not from foods that are picked green and then ripen in the box or something. What's that term again? This is not walking encyclopedia. <laughs> Salvestrol? Salvestrols. And, and many people have heard of resveratrol, and that's a salvestrol that's in, like, red grapes. And so it has natural cancer-fighting, natural disease-fighting abilities that are not in foods that are picked green and then packed and shipped and they get to your store five or six days later. But if you go to a farmer's market and you've got really fresh local food, it's usually vine ripened or tree ripened. And so it's got those natural disease fighting abilities, which is awesome. That is awesome. And that's a really great <laughs> tip right there because we do have a lot of farmer's market that pop up throughout the summer. And that, that helps our, our local farmer's markets as well. <laughs> in, in the sense of like, I didn't know that. I didn't know that there is something that gets lost once the uh, fruits get packaged. Yes. Also, one of the great things, you're mentioning blueberries and cherries and all of these really rich fruits, and they have color in them, and that color is actually the antioxidant. I mean, we hear about those antioxidant-fighting, uh, disease-fighting abilities, and that is in the color. And so one of my tips is for summer, for sure, making healthy smoothies. If you have a blender and you can put all of these wonderful things in a blender and mix it up, you've got the fiber and you've also got all the nutrients in it. And you can put them in popsicle molds and make healthy pops for, for the kids, for sure. But one of the things that I've been doing lately, which is really fun, is look for foods that you would not normally get that maybe a red banana or a purple potato. I've never seen a red banana. So what's Isn't the difference fun? between a red banana and a yellow banana? Well, they, they all have different properties in them. And the reds have more, have a deeper, richer antioxidant in it. And I've been cutting off the hard ends, chopping it up and putting the whole banana in my smoothie. And you want to clean it, of course. And I use apple cider vinegar to clean my fruits and vegetables. So when you say but the whole banana, the peel as well. Banana. The peel actually has more nutrients in it than the fruit itself. And it doesn't taste any different, but it adds all of that rich nutrient dense fiber to your diet as well. And it's really fun and you can engage the kids with this kind of thing. Help them do it with you or pick out the foods and they tend to be more willing to eat it if they've been a part of the project. You know, uh, everything that you've shared uh, kind of loans itself to the diabetes and your diet, right? And we have, a, uh, unfortunately, a, a serious state of diabetes here within our community, especially uh, within my community, the Latino community. And, and, and you just made it a little fun, you know? Uh, well, because it's really challenging to uh, get kids to eat healthy without making it fun. Of course, uh, like you said, uh, we're, we're kind of already conditioned to just go for what's quick. And this is the original fast food. So just oh, yeah. with that, um, let's say visiting barbecues and having fun. So how, what would you suggest uh, you, you, you put out as a, as a, a platter that would be uh, appealing uh, to a child? You know, it's really great for barbecues and for children is it once, you know, and I know you raised your daughter like this. If you raise them with this kind of food, they think that's normal. They don't know any different. But for barbecues, one of the things I like to take with me and I did with my children is I take portobello mushrooms and I'll have that available for whoever's barbecuing to, to make for us. And we have that instead of, you know, some of the meats and things. And there was a recent study of 7,000 people between the age of 50 and 65, and they found that people with the highest protein diet of animal proteins, didn't matter which it was, uh, but they were 75 times more likely to die of any disease. And, it, and if that was reversed and it was high protein of uh, vegetable food, right. then it was the total opposite. It's, and so it, it's very important to add more fruits and vegetables to your diet. So do some fresh uh, cucumber slices to use as hummus dip chips. 
and cucumbers have a, a, a hormone in them that helps your pancreas actually create insulin. And Everything goes back to <laughs> insulin. No, this is great. This is great. And that leads us to the how to be a healthy vegetarian. And what's interesting and what you just shared with everyone is that, you know, you, it's kind of like uh, eliminating the, the middleman, right? Because the, the animals eat the, the greens anyway. And then there's a whole process. And, you know, eating the meats is kind of like eliminated. But you still get, you can still get the nutrients. Oh, we're out of time. Fine, well, I just uh, oh. love love visiting with y'all, and uh, I love coming to New York. And we love having great. you when you're here in New York. And congratulations on all the awards and all the accolades that you've been receiving. And, and thank you for continuing to educate not just the, us, the the next generation, into understanding the importance of just conditioning your body to eat uh, from a more natural place, right? Going back yes. to the basics. <laughs> All right, Nancy, once again, for more consultation with Nancy Addison, you can visit organichealthylife.com. And also, if you want to get her books, you can go to Amazon, and they're available at Barnes & Noble. All right, we have to take a quick break, but when we return, we'll learn more behind Latina 50 Plus turning five. So don't go anywhere.